A non-governmental organization, the Health of Mother Earth Foundation, is continuing its drive to raise young and vibrant environmental rights activists. This time, it is visiting the chairman of the Bielsa State Traditional Rulers Council to pass knowledge onto the younger generation. The group led a select team of youth, mostly undergraduates, to the ancient Ekpetiama Kingdom in Yenogoa local government area in a special series tagged Learning from the Wise. Our correspondent, Jesse Ese, completes the report. For over four hours, Homef and his prospective environmentalists sat before the king of Ekpetiama Kingdom as he alighted factors responsible for both human and environmental degradation in the Niger Delta. And so he authorized it to He went down memory lane to explain how oil and gas exploration activities coupled with federal government's negligence have caused the people unbearable pain. However, the king advised these youngsters on how to change the narratives. I take your theater round, campaign round. You could write books and poems and all and even do comedy and sing around it. And then you can also take the oil and gas companies to court to challenge them for all their misdemeanor. So you should not just go ahead and go and start beating people. There's a lot you can do. And you'll get better attention, particularly today with social media. You can get more attention using these uh, media that we have to ensure that there is no hiding place for the oil and gas industry in this part of the world. Homef gave reasons behind the Learning from the Wise initiative. In our communities, we have people, persons who have knowledge, that have historical roots, knowledge of our culture, of our social relations, economic productivity, and other means that can help us address the issues of today as well as the issues of tomorrow. So learning from the wise is picking out those wise individuals and then getting young people to sit at their feet to hear their stories, to learn from them, uh, and so develop their positions. At the end of the meeting, the young participants also shared their experiences. I've learned about my roots, the culture so far, how I could help preserve our environment. The aim is to uh, bridge the knowledge gap between the older generation and the um, younger generation. And uh, from what we've learned so far, I mean, a, a lot of things that we're not aware of are, are, have been exposed by His Majesty. And the group also vowed to continue with the initiative even beyond Nigeria. Yes, CSA, Plus TV News, Yenugua. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.